The next presenter is uh, uh, <coughs> uh, will be Aman uh, Aman Samir from uh, Cooperative Bank. Uh, he's currently uh, Vice President of uh, uh, Technologies and Digital uh, Banking at Cooperative Bank of Oromia. He has previously served as uh, uh, Vice President of uh, Information System uh, there. He has worked in, in, in the banking sector with other banks as well as a CIO for Double uh, Global Bank. He was also part of the, 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 the team that set up corporate, I mean, Oromia International Bank. Uh, and then he has, the, he has engaged in, in various projects within the banking sector. So he will be presenting us on uh, access to uh, uh, micro lending and he will give us their experience in this regard. Uh, so please welcome Samir to the stage. Yes, uh, I will start with my presentation with Amina's story. Uh, Amina is a returnee from Middle East. Uh, when she comes back, she was very desperate, as usual. Uh, even her neighbors and her relatives were ridiculing her because she returned back. Uh, but despite the setback she had experienced, Amina refused to let her circumstance define her future. With a passion and entrepreneur spirit, Amina decided to start a straight food, tea and coffee shop. But it was not easy because she did not have uh, an access to finance. Then Amina heard about Michu from Cooperative Bank of Oromia. Then Amina applied for that loan and she got an access, which is uncollateralized loan. Then she started her business, her roadside food, uh, tea, as well as coffee business. Amina is 20 eight years old, and during the past few months, Amina took a loan more than 25 times. Now Amina's business has grown up, she has hired three, and she's helping her family as well as herself. Because we're not allowed to use her picture, I'm hiding. Amina's deportation and subsequent return to her homeland become a part of her story. One that she didn't shy away now from sharing. Her resilience and determination resonated with her customers who were inspired by her, by her ability to overcome adversity. Now, Amina's genuine interaction and stories has created a community, and she's going on. Another story, Emmanuel Tamrat, he's a taxi driver, and unfortunately, uh, he needed, uh, his, the, his taxi stopped working because of maintenance issue, and he couldn't have a maintenance money, and he, uh, he stopped working. And he heard about Michu, for uncollateralized digital banking, uh, loan, uh, digital uh, banking services. Then uh, Emmanuel took a loan from a bank. Then he got his car maintained and he continued his work. As you can see, his feedback on his critical time, he got his loan. Now Emmanuel from uh, Michu, he has taken the loan circulated more than 30 times. This is a true story. Uh, just another story for thought. Work why you know. Maybe you know another work why you know. This is not <laughs> that work why you know. <laughs> so he is 35. He is 35. He's a small retail shop owner. And as I, you can see, before he said, before I got the loan, I only put an item with low prices. But he found about Michu, 
Then he got the loan, and now he filled his uh, small retail shop, and he is planning to open another shop. Another true story. Miss Abraham Johannes, she was an owner of a bakery, but the items that she is selling, as well as she had a working capital problem, but she couldn't get a loan because she does not have a collateral. But she found about Michu and she got a loan. Now her stocks are bigger, her working capital, as well as she hired more people. She's 30 and she took more than 25 times and her business is going on. There are so many uh, stories like this that has changed uh, many people. You can see Obomerga and Obogamichis, a barber and a tailor. They've changed their life. So, Michu, uh, we are in a pilot stage as a cooperative bank of Oromia in a collaboration with Kefia. Uh, now, we've reached more than 180 MSMEs, 80,000 MSMEs. Uh, the loan account has reached uh, more than 100,000. Mind you, in the past 100 years, the Ethiopian bankers totally, they have given out a loan of 350,000 only. But during uh, <coughs> our pilot project, we have reached more than 100,000. And we've lent more than uh, a billion. And average loan size has reached more than 12,000 now. When we, we, have, we have done uh, a research twice, and that research, uh, we found out that from uh, those who took, uh, who took uh, a loan for Michu, 13% are internally displaced refugees. Uh, about 80% are used from uh, the maximum is 35 years old. It was so surprising. And 35% of uh, those who took loan, uh, loan are women. And surprisingly, 5% are disabled people. Uh, when we see our data on job creation, on job improvement, and on, job, uh, on sustaining jobs, uh, on job creation, from the data, it tells us out of 2.94, we can say three, one new job is created. Out of 1.6 repeat borrowers, one job is improved. And out of one repeat borrowers, one job is sustained. Especially from the data, we're surprised to see logistics companies, construction companies who were not be able to pay for their daily labor, laborers. They got this chance and took money and they started paying and this, this, they sustained the job. You can see the data, 4.84 uh, unique borrowers create one new job. 87% of the new jobs are created for use and 59% of the new jobs are created for male and 41% for female. It's so inclusive. Uh, I can go on. Uh, this did not go without ch a challenge. There are infrastructural challenge, data and adequacy and credit uh, uh, assessment challenge, timely repayment challenge, cultural challenge, uh, especially sh shortage of loanable fund as well as culture. Internally, to change the bank's culture to accept non-collateralized lending was a challenge as well to allocate the money that is being allocated for collateral. Uh, to al reallocate it was a challenge. And uh, a product market fit. From the default rate, we, what we found out is, instead of using for their daily business, some of them started buying furniture and other things that they couldn't 
prepare back. So now, based on this, we have created uh, new products we, which will come out very soon in Michu 2.0. I'm going to the final. Uh, from my presentation, you can see that the social impact is high, but we are banks. Though our, uh, one of our uh, mission is to transform livelihood, we are profit-based, our, prof uh, our motive is also profit. So uh, it is profitable, so I, though I cannot tell you the exact profit that we are gain, uh, we, we've got out of it, it is so profitable and it's so enticing. Uh, uh, for even when we see the gap in the demand and the supply gap, IFC and World Bank uh, released in 2019, there is $4.9 billion gap for uh, MSMEs. This means if every bank starts working towards this, even we cannot bridge the gap enough. So. Uh, just for a comparison purpose, before I finish my presentation, the conventional loan for the past 18 years, Cooperative Bank of Oromia has given out only 20,000. That means 1,000 per year, average. Michu loan, in the past few months during pilot period, mind you, pilot period is not open for the general public is a closed, a closed test period. During that period, we have surpassed 100,000. That means the bank gives 1,000 loan per year, but now we have a capacity to give more than 1,000 loan per day. This is, that one is linear, this one is exponential. Uh, I want to finish my presentation with a chase story. This chase story will tell us what digital transformation can bring in. Digital transformation is not linear growth. Digital transformation is an exponential growth. Uh, the, the stories goes this way. These are so many versions. Chase is said to be created by the, an Indian guru. Once upon a time, the king, he has lost his beloved uh, daughter, and he cannot be consulted for uh, months. Then they introduced him uh, the game of chess. Then he liked the game of chess, and he started living his more uh, normal life. And he wants he wanted to uh, give a prize for the guru, and he called the guru, and he asked, "What do you want me to give you?" And the guru thought about it and told him, what I, ne I need is for the chase, chase has 64 squares, as you see. For the first one, give me one rice. For the second one, give me two. For the third one, give me four. This is exponential. And for the fourth one, give me how much? Are you with me? Four times eight. Then for the, again, for the next one, 16. It goes on like this. Okay, guess how much rice was needed. You can take the QR code and you can vote. Take the QR code and vote. The same as the same as full loaded Boeing 787, same as diary cow, lighter than a score, uh, soccer ball, probably the same as soccer ball or heavier than Boeing 787. You can see the result. When you take the QR code, you can see the result. You need, you need an internet access. Did you make the choice? Have you seen the result? So, you can see 
many of us did not discuss it well. This is the answer. Even for the 64 square, you need 10.223 quantilia. This means even if the whole world become a rice, you cannot give him enough. So in short, what I wanted to say is digital transformation is so exponential. Michu is approved for this. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you, Aman, uh, for an interesting presentation, a, a very uh, glittering success story, and a nice uh, uh, concluding story in the end.